Hey there viewers, it's Charlie I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on Legacy A Hero Was Born 2 Pack. Now, this 2 pack is based on the episode War Dawn, where Alpha Trion rebuilds a young Autobot into the Autobot leader, Op Optimus Prime. Of course, the, this is just because the, the aerial bots uh, traveled back in time and they actually uh, bring Orion to Alpha Trion. So that kind of creates a paradox. I see how, yeah, if I talked about that, I would pretty much be rambling. So let's just uh, talk about the packaging. Now, this is... Actually, a really cool box. Because it's got a picture of Alpha Trion working on Orion here. So you see. This side we've got a picture of Alpha Trion. Here, here side we've got a picture of Orion Pax. The back we've got them in both modes. And we also got Vector Sigma, which is uh, pretty cool. Probably a reference to how the aerial bots are in uh, this episode. And, while well, they were created with Vector Sigma. I know, it's been a while since I've seen Wardon. He probably does appear in the episode, probably doesn't. I'm not sure. Probably just because, you know, Alpha Trion and Vector Sigma are both ancient Autobot. Uh, characters, so. But, we'll take a, a look at him uh, later. For now, let's take a, a look at these two, and, well, let's start off with Alpha Trion. Now, this guy's pretty much just a retailer Studio Series Scourge, which I, as of the time of recording, don't have. I mean, of course, like, sleep is easily available. At least in, like, Smash and all that, but... Of course, I kind of want to get Scourge first, and then get, like, sleeps for, like, army building, so... But now, this is the only version of the mold I, I, that I have. But, still... At least he's not a lion this time. But yeah, just taking a look at the vehicle mode, it's pretty much just Scourge's space boat mode. It's got the guns here. I think this bit's been retooled. Of course, the head's been retooled. But aside from that, like, it's, like, yeah, this is unrecognizable as Scourge. Now, of course, you can still do, like, the visible head. I mean, like, there is a official uh, mode that shows the, the head, but, yeah, I, I kind of prefer to do this. So, so yeah, if you want to do this, like, if, so you can do this if you want. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Because Scourge did have his face sometimes showing in vehicle mode, so just, this is just a carryover from that. I mean, it's not the official face showing in vehicle mode, mode, but it's the version that I prefer to do. Got the underneath, which... Yeah, this guy is kind of a shell former, but that is normal with uh, the Scourge mold, so... I mean, like, even uh, G1 Scourge's toy was a shell for us, so. Now, for accessories, of course, we've got the gun, which you can just go on the side here. And, well, for blast effect compatibility, yep. So, you. In fact, for the little guns here, 
day two of last com well, uh, well uh, uh, my tongue just stopped there, but these two can also take blast effects, which is amazing. So if you want to just have Alpha try on blasting at, I don't know, whatever the Decepticon leader before Megatron was, I think maybe, I'm not sure, but yeah, you can do that. I guess Megatronus. I don't know. And keep in mind that this is a Studio Series mold, not a War for Cybertron trilogy or Legacy uh, originating mold. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. I don't have any other, well, G1 scare desk molds to compare them with. So let's just move on to Orion Pax. And of course, I'm pretty sure you can tell already, but this guy is a retool of Studio Series Cup. And this actually does uh, hark back to other figures of Orion, which, of course, are cup uh, redecos. So, pretty nice callback there. Looking at this version, of course, it's pretty much just cup in Optimus colors. But who knows, maybe it's like cup, like, mented Optimus. I, I don't know, it's just, I'm leaning to, like, headcanon territory here. That's, Almost absolutely not the case, actually. But, yeah, this is pretty much just Studio Series Cup, except the front here has been retooled. Of course, we've still got... So yeah, the limbs are also still going to come off, which will show in robot mode. And of course, the accessories are still going to be the same. So we've still got the gun here. Can loosely take a blast effect. Although, yeah, doesn't really stay on that well. Not as well as Skadge's or Alpha Trion's gun. That just plugs onto the side. And you get the Energon Goody container. Which is just a carryover from Cup, because, of course, Orion Pax never used this in War Dawn. I don't think he even used a gun, because, like, I think he was just a worker Autobot, if I remember correctly. So, maybe this isn't even an actual gun, and maybe this is like a welding gun gun or something, I, I don't know. Or it's like a gun he just found on, on the ground or something, I don't know. It's just... <laughs> well, of course, these are just leather, leftover from uh, the cup uh, version of the figure. Speaking of, here he is with cup. Or in this case, the Buzzworthy uh, redeco. So you can pretty much just see how it's a, I mean, aside from the front, it's a sort of recolor. And here he is with what he, he'd become uh, uh, later on. Here he is with Optimus. So he went from a Cybertron pickup truck to a full-on lorry, or a semi if you're American. So yeah. Now, if only we can get a figure of, uh, uh, if only, yeah. if only we could get a figure of Ariel now, which was uh, Alita One's uh, past uh, form.
Because we've... Oh, I mean, we've got figures of Dion for crying out loud. Even one that's like a redeck or a wheelie. But still no figures of Ariel. I mean, I think I've seen someone uh, say they could use like Netflix to lead one as Ariel, which I kind of think is a cool idea. But no official figures of Ariel yet. But yeah, I'm just starting to ramble. So getting these two together. Yeah, I quite like how these two look together. Definitely, it definitely, uh... Well, it definitely just makes me want to watch War Dawn again, which I think I'm just going to do after I finish... Yeah, after I finish this review, I'm just going to watch War Dawn again. <laughs> For, I think, even though this would, like, make this uh, a bit more expensive, because this is, like, what... 70 pounds i think what would make me like this a bit more is if we had a, a, a little core class die on from the studio series wheelie not the one that came with grimlock the, the core class wheelie or if that was like a little separate figure that you could buy as a bonus for this i i don't know it is a legacy so we are branching out to really obscure characters we're getting Tarn for crying out loud, so it'll be cool if we got like a little core class uh, die on. But overall, I am really liking this so far, so let's move on to the transformations. And well, let's start off with Alpha Tryon. Now, just before I show off the transformation, here's Vector Sigma. I mean, not really much to say. He has got the key in there, and that's not a modern piece. That actually, it is a separate piece. Although, yeah, I can't really get it out there. Even with like fingernails, it's just stuck in there. I'm sure if you've got tweezers, you can get it out. But yeah, try not to fully push it in there like I did. But he does have a, a translucent stand, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it for Vector Sigma, and back to the transformations. So, to get Alpha Trion transformed, well, as I said, it's pretty much a shell former, but I still think it's, it's kind of cool. So to start, we're just going to get these little bits out. Then we're just going to try and split the shell. Yeah, this could be a bit tricky. There we go. So, split the shell. Like so. Push this in. Untap this. This just double hinges up. Pushing this little gun, and this can actually, these guns can come off quite easily, so that is a complaint I have. Okay, yeah, just gonna tap that, push that in, double hinge that up, pushing this little gun here. Untap this, open this up, push that in. Try and get this tilted it up, but try not to my, my just try not to get my Lego stand all in pieces. So yeah, trying to accordion the head into place, which is actually easier said than done. If anything, it's sort of easier to do this off camera. There we go. So you want to have it oriented to something like this. So then I can just push into there. 
So now you've got the head like that. Then get the feet out, get the heels out. Get the wings out the way so you can lift the arms out, tab in the shoulders. Split the legs, move the arms down. Ooh, there we go. And there we've got Alpha Trion in robot mode. And yeah, it's sort of a fun transformation, but it can get a bit fiddly at times if you don't know what you're doing, especially with the head section. So, yeah. Now, moving on to Orion Pax, it's pretty much the same as Car. So, to start this, we're just going to untab the arms from here. Split this so we can open this up. Move these little bits down. Get, get these bits around like so. Get this down. Open up the arms. Don't worry, it's just part of uh, just left over from cup. Open this up so we can fully get that down. Get the feet out. Open this up so you can just straighten that out. Flipping the front wheels. That just times in like so. Spin around the head. Spin around the, the spin around the shoulders. There we go. That just tabs in. And finally, this backpack folds up like so. And here we have Orion in robot mode. And yeah, they actually did a lot of retooling to get this guy uh, looking different from Cap, which we'll see when we uh, do the comparison. And we'll once again put these, uh, putting these guys side by side. They look really good together. Once again, just making me want uh, figures of Dion and Ariel to go uh, with them. I mean, even if we got like a, a, a Dion from maybe a Core Class Wheelie or even the upcoming Legacy Hotshot, seeing how, you know, we did get uh, figures of Dion from Wheelie and Hotshot in the past, so I just think it would, it, it would make sense. Well, starting off with looking at Alpha Trion. Yeah, this guy looks really, really good. I mean, of course, it makes sense that this guy would be from the Scourge Mode because, well, well the Vehicle Mode Kibble forms a cape. I mean, yeah, it's Kibble, but... It makes sense because, as I said, it's it's a cape, or like a, a, a robe, or well, like it, it's something that Alvatron actually has, so it makes sense. Now, looking at the head, which is good, well, it, that's going to be a bit hard because he's got the wings. So, in fact. Let's actually do something I haven't done in a while and actually lift the camera to look at the head. And that's actually a really good looking uh, face sculpt. It's really accurate looking too. 
I mean, of course, it's got to be it, so that's probably going to hinder the articulation, but really, a left and right is all you need. You don't need the full 360 sculpt. Well, I, I don't need the face to look 360, do you? Left and right is, is really all you need for the head. For the head. Oh, I guess a bit of up and down uh, too, but really, uh, when it... Uh, uh, do you really need the the head to go 360? Okay, tangent aside, because I seem to go on a lot of tangents, don't I? Point is, it's a really accurate uh, head sculpt. Now, for accessories, of course, we've got the gun, which you can just hold in his hand. It's probably just left over from Scourge though, but still, who knows, it could be like a healing gun for uh, uh, Ryan. <laughs> so, yeah. And of course, as I said earlier, it can take blast effects. And where we do have the ports on the bottom of the feet, and normally this would be for like fossilizers, weaponizers, the upcoming legacy junkions. But uh, of course, for me, let's plug in some blast effects there. Now, for this guy's articulation, well, of course, the heads, well, it's only 360 because of the beard, but as I said, it, well, you don't really need uh, 360 head rotation, so this is uh, good enough. And you can look up and down, so yeah, uh, still really nice head articulation. The arms can move, although, well, I, I have to move uh, this out of the way to accommodate for that. Of course, he can T pose. I suppose the wings could can flap if you want, or if you want a more dynamic looking figure, I guess. It's got elbows, bicep rotation. The hands can actually swivel. Waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far. Back that far. Do the splits. Not really that far ankle pivot though. It's got knees. And swivel there. So yeah, quite posable. Of what of, of Alpha Trion being an elderly character. I don't really see him uh, doing that much dy dynamic posing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Alpha Trion. Now for uh, Orion Pax. And yeah, this guy's pretty much the same as uh, Capovo. There are some molding differences, which we'll get to soon. But yeah, just having a quick 360. Looking at the head, of course they remodeled the head, so it's like uh, Orion Pax's head. I mean, like, there is some white piping, although they did paint over the eyes. I mean, you can still sort of see it, though. Of course, we can give him his accessories. So we can still give him the gun, although... I'd... Yeah, I don't uh, uh, remember using... I, I don't remember him using a gun in, in the episode. And he definitely never had a... a... Container of Energon goodies in the episode. That was something that Cup had in the movie. Although, but maybe he had these like off screen in War Dawn, like before Megatron pretty much slaughtered him. Who you knows? Maybe this is just his lunchbox. <laughs> maybe this is like a Cybertronian Nerf gun. <laughs> this is meant to be like Prime's younger days, remember?
But well, for comparison, here is a cup. So you can see all the retooling they did. And they did a lot of retooling. Like, of course, the chest, the head. They even retooled the knees. Like, not the actual knees, but like the knee, the knee pads. You see how Pax is uh, look different. I can't remember if he had these in the show. He probably did, but still, really nice attention to detail there. Now, comparing him with his future self, that being Optimus Prime. I mean, like, aside from the colors, it's pretty hard to tell that these are the same character. I mean, if you just recolored uh, Orion in, like, different colors, you wouldn't even be able to tell that these are meant to be the same character. I mean, of course, uh, uh, Orion was just made for, like, an episode of, uh, to give Prime some lore, but still... Now, of course, with this being a cup re retool, he still has the amputation gimmick. I mean, I guess it still makes sense for uh, uh, Ryan, like Alpha Trying, can like take parts off to repair them. But I find that like some parts are kind of hard to remove, like the the legs, and some bits just come off no issue, like uh, this arm here. But yeah, well. I found that, like, what if, uh, this gimmick, you can create some really cursed creations with this. And I think you know where this is going. I am so sorry. But well, uh, restoring Orion to that after that, well, cursed experiment. Let's take a look at his posability. And well, of course, it's pretty much just going to be the same as Cap. So his head's on a ball joint, and of course, like 360. As I, uh, I mentioned with Alpha Trion, his arms can, of course, move around. Be careful not, not to pop them off. It's got elbows on, I guess, faux ratchets. He's kind of swivel of a, yeah, be careful not to pop them off. You can T-pose. I guess you can do a bit of the YMCA. Bit of a waist articulation. Do the splits here. It's a really good ankle uh, pivot. If you have a niche, you can sort of do this if you want. Legs can, can go forward, they can go back that far. And he's got knees. And this one's swivel. And of course, he too has the ports for the uh, weaponizers. Or, or in my case, blast effects. Although, be careful when taking them off because. Well, it didn't show it here, but. Legs aren't just little uh, mushroom joints and they can come off quite easily. Well, the feet, I mean, not the legs. Of course, the legs are meant to come off. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say. So if I can just get these guys together, along with Vector Sigma.
So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about this uh, set. So, complaints. Well, with the set itself, not really any complaints. Maybe just more nitpicks. Like, I kind of wish we got like a little die-on from a uh, core class wheelie, but... As I said, that's more a nitpick. Actual complaints? Well, with half a try-on, if you don't really know how to transform him that, that, that well, he is sort of fiddly. Especially if you're trying to get the halves closed up. Of course, like, these little guns here can come off quite easily. And especially trying to get the head transformed, that's the most fiddly bit, in my opinion. For, for Orion, though... Like, you see how this arm's just coming off? Like, it's just really loose. Like, not loose as in it flops around. Loose as in... It, it's like Master Dominus's uh, skull. It, 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 like, it doesn't just fall off of it. It looks like it's going to. But that's just my biggest uh, uh, complaint. And with Vector Sigma, if you push the key in too far, it's just it's stuck in there. Like you, you could get it out with tweezers, but that's the thing. I, I don't have tweezers. So yeah, it's just stuck in there now. But other than that, do I recommend this set? Well, if you're a fan of if you're a fan of the episode War Dawn, then absolutely, because this is a really nice set. I mean, just it, it's always nice to get a figure of Optimus Prime before he became a, a Prime, even if it's just a cup uh, re a remold. But still, it, it's always really nice. Plus, this Alpha Trion figure is amazing. So, yeah. If you're a fan of the episode War Dawn, if you're just a, a collector of the Legacy toy line, or if you just really like how the set looks, I definitely recommend this. I mean, it is like, what, 70 pounds, and seeing how, like, the Luxes nowadays are like, what, 24, 25 quids? Seeing how, like, Voyages are, like, what, 35, maybe 36 pounds now. It's actually a pretty good deal, because I'm probably getting it completely wrong, but I still think it's a, a really good deal, because you're pretty much getting like, a Voyager and a Deluxe and, like, a little, uh, Vector Sigma here. So, yeah. I definitely do recommend this set, uh, and I do hope we get more of these little uh, two packs in the future because the box itself is also really cool if you remember that. So, yeah, this has been my review on the Heroes Born 2 pack, and this is Charlie Young signing off.